Bitcoin is the new guillotine. And the network is the new reign of terror. And if you don't, on the right side of history, you're going to find yourself without a head. It's now a game we're playing globally. So we're, people in Africa have the same chances as people in South America, as people in Vietnam. Are people getting rich in the process? Sure enough, but is that the end goal here? Or is it really to revolutionize and change the way the economics of the world work? We're only on this planet for a short amount of time. We gotta kill each other. That's insane. It's insane. The future is now. Presents. In association with untraceable events. Together with Genesis Blockchain Technologies. The Futurist Conference, Toronto, 2018. The Future is Now heads to the Futurist Conference in Toronto, Canada, the so-called home of Ethereum, to find out what is happening with the second biggest coin and what is the general outlook as we meet some of the biggest names in the industry. Charles Hoskinson, the founder of Cardano and Ethereum's original eight. Yeah, people are being more conservative, but the ICO is turning into the STO, the security token offering. So the appetite to raise, the methodologies to raise, uh, it's still there and they're just getting more nuanced and they're for the first time getting a bit more regulated. Ryan Taylor, the CEO of Dashcore, 13th cryptocurrency by market cap in the world. Uh, smart contracts uh, are over-engineered for most solutions and really uh, provide too much functionality at too high of a cost um, for it to be practical at scale. We speak to the co-founder of The Futurist, Chris Spatafora of Norvblock. We had an idea that the birthplace of what we believe to be cryptocurrency needs to continue to push forward what this industry is going to become. We also catch Luke Wagman, the chief content officer at CoinMarketCap. I think things are down now, but uh... You know, I think we're all very long cryptocurrency, and I think there's a lot of new interest coming into the ecosystem. A lot of uh, big money is on the way. Five years from now, this will be long forgotten. And of course, find the pioneers of the future. Pablo Gonzalez of Genesis Blockchain Technologies, the first mobile decentralized exchange app. We're going to be working with banks, let's say, that the exchanges are working with now, that they have the risk of getting shut down their bank accounts and all of this stuff, because our bank is going to be the central bank of Costa Rica. I'm Larry King, and welcome to here. And get an exclusive from Larry King, the legendary seeker of information, who is now at 84 advising gear in the blockchain space. What's more important than living together on the planet? Why the hell do we have war? War is dumb. And catch up with our friend Max Kaiser of the Kaiser Report. Goldfish, you put enough food in the goldfish bowl, it'll eat itself to death. The Federal Reserve is never going to stop printing money. So these big behemoth financial terrorist f***wits like Jamie Dimon and Lloyd Blankman are going to eat themselves to death. And this system is going to cannibalize itself to death. And fortunately, Bitcoin is there to pick up the pieces. And it's already happening. It'll happen with greater speed as the economy it accelerates its decline and collapse. All this and more in this episode. Don't miss the future. The future is now. Created by One Day Productions.